This is Revelation chapter 18 and verse 23, and it says, <clears throat> And the light of a candle shall no more at all shall shine no more at all in thee, in the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For the merchants were the great men of the earth, for by the sorceries were all nations deceived. Okay, so the light of a candle shall no more shine in us, man, if you if we're not doing these works. He's going to remove that, man. We're spiritually married to the Most High, man. We're spiritually, and we're servants of Yahweh Shah. We're spiritually married to him. That's why I said the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride shall be heard no more. Because the bridegrooms and the bride is going to be heard no more, man. The Most High is not going to be listening to you no more. When we go to these different doctrines or if we when we go to these different things, we're spiritually cheating on the most high. All right. That's what we're doing. That's why we're supposed to be only serving him because we're married unto the most high. OK. Let's go to Hebrews 10 and 31, because they, people don't understand it's really fearful to fall in the most high God's hands. man. Is Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. It is. It's a fearful thing, man. People don't understand that. They, they just think God is all hugs and kisses, man. No, that's not who God is, man. God's a so-called black man, man. Okay? He can take that spirit from you anytime he wants to. Let's go to Psalms 119 and 60. Actually, it's going to Matthew 21 and 19. Because this is... The disciples were with Yahweh Shah when they seen this, man. And this is a parable. Okay. Matthew 21 and 19. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon. Right. So you will find that trees in the Bible is referred to as men. Okay. Let me get that. Let me prove that. This is you. Okay, this is Mark chapter eight and verse twenty four. And he looked up and said, "I see men as trees walking." Okay, so this proves right here that me, that men in the Bible are referred to as trees. It says, "And he as he and he looked up and, and said, I see men as trees walking." Okay, so that proves that. Men are referred to as trees in the Bible. Okay, so that's why it says, and when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it. So this it was an actual fig tree. It was a man. Okay, he came to and found nothing thereon but leaves only. Said unto him, Let no fruit grow in thee henceforth forever. So he saw a man that had he 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 had the knowledge and understanding, but he didn't have. He didn't, he, nothing was, he didn't produce any fruit, man. He didn't produce no fruit. So Yahweh Shah said, man, no fruit is going to ever grow on this fig tree. And presently the fig tree withered away. And when the disciples saw, saw it, they marveled, saying, how soon is the fig tree withered away? Because when you get turned over to a reprobate mind, it's like fat, right? It's fast, man. That's what the disciples were like. Damn, that, that, that was quick. He instantly took he instantly took that candlestick from his place, man. Right? So this is actually talking about a man, not a regular fig tree. Okay. That he let no fruit. Because if you're not producing in a man as as a man in the truth, you're supposed to produce in fruit, man. You're supposed to be growing in this truth by the living waters. What are the living waters? We're supposed to be planted by the living waters. Let me go to Psalms 1 and 1. And as, if you grow, you're supposed to grow in this truth and you're supposed to produce good fruit. If you're not producing good fruit, you're not a good tree. Psalms chapter 1 and verse 3. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Right? His leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever we do shall prosper. So you're supposed to be planted by the rivers of living water bringing forth fruit. Like I said, he didn't see it. He didn't. This man wasn't bringing forth any fruit, so he cut it up. He cut him off. Okay, that's that's an example, a perfect example, right? 
And let's go to Matthew 20, 20, 20 and 15, because the most High can do what he wants to do. People be like, well, why did he do? Why did he give him another? Because the most High does what he want to do. They don't understand that. Matthew 20 and 15. And he's going to say that. Listen, listen, listen to what Yahweh Shah says. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? Okay, so is it not lawful for me to do what I'm doing, man? This is what I do, right? Is it not lawful? To do you guys are my own, man. That's what Yahweh Shah is saying, man. You're my own. Let me go to Romans chapter 9 and 21. Right, it's a precept to that. Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? So the most high can make people for honor, he can make somebody unto dishonor, man. It's all up to the most high's will, whether to take your spirit or whether you can keep your spirit, man. It's all up to the most high's will. So knowing that the most high can take your spirit from you if you don't do your first works, if you're not holding fast, right? If you're not producing any fruit, if you're not praying to keep your spirit, you have to make haste to do the commandments. Understand that commandments is what you have to do as a man and as a right man and as a right woman. Once this is Psalms chapter 119 and verse 16. Psalms chapter 119 and verse 60. Shalakia verse 60. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have robbed me, but I have not forgotten the law, thy law. So I had, as soon as you hear these commandments, you're supposed to make haste and do the commandments, right? You're not supposed to delay and do the, you're supposed to, as soon as you hear the commandments, oh, I, I can't eat pork, no more pork, right? I gotta, uh, as a woman, I gotta wear a dress, I'm gonna, I buy a dress the next day. You're supposed to make haste to do these commandments, man. Let's find out the whole duty of man. This is my last verse. Let me get my one more verse for y'all. It says, Ezekiel. Not Ezekiel, Shalakia, Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and verse 13. So let us hear the coke. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Okay, so that's it. That's the whole duty of man. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. It says it right here, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. For God, verse 14. For God shall bring in every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So I'm going to let you guys meditate on that. Right? We are in the last days. So fast, pray, and do what you got to do to get this kingdom. Okay? This is the Marian, Yamarian, and I bid you all